So you're always gonna find something or some reason why now is not the right time, you know? Guess who's back, eh, eh, back again. Guess who's back, 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 back again. Donna's back. <laughs> What's up, you guys? You like my little intro? You like my little intro that I did for y'all? Um, anyways, what's up? It's the Donna. I'm back with another video for you guys. So um, I've been getting this question like, what is the best time, Adana, to apply to PA school? Adana, when's the best time? I mean, I don't know. Like, should I apply now? Should I apply in a year? Should I apply in two years? And I'm like, um, the best time to apply is when you finish your application and meet all the prerequisite requirements. So if that is now, then yes, now is the best time to apply to PA school. If you have met all the prerequisite requirements and your application is really great, like you feel like it's good, you know, um, I'm, I'm meeting the GPA requirements, I'm meeting all the prerequisites with respect to uh, all the classes that they asked me to take, my volunteer hours are up, my shadowing hours are up, my healthcare experience is where it needs to be then absolutely apply now you guys look I know that you know it's PA school like applying to PA school is almost like having like trying to plan to have a baby you know like I've had friends that were like oh you know like I, I mean I don't think now is the right time you know now it's not the right time to have a baby because you know like we don't have twenty six thousand uh, dollars saved in the bank for them for their school fund and I know that I read somewhere that you have to have twenty six thousand dollars saved in the bank for your children before you even think about having them because you want to build on that look like if that's the mentality that you're having honestly like you it's never gonna be a right time you're always gonna find something excuse me sorry there's like something on my nose <laughs> but you're always gonna find something or some reason why now is not the right time you know your car just broke down so now you got to put money towards that so now it's definitely not the right time to have a baby you just lost your job that's a good reason <laughs> That's a good reason not to have a baby right now. You're poor and you don't have a way to support them. That's a good reason. So let's scratch that one. There's always going to be a reason why. You're always going to find something. So therefore, I feel like you need to make sure that you're ready. So if you're not ready, if, if you feel unready and unsure, then don't apply to PA school. If you're looking at your application and you're like, uh, I don't know, I think that I can do a lot better in these next five months. Like literally plan it out. Don't sit up here and be like, you know, when's the best time? And then you're waiting around and you're not doing the work. You're not putting the work in. Do not be lazy, okay? Don't do that. If you're gonna wait, if you're gonna take a year, if you're gonna take two years, make sure that you are bettering yourself in that time. Because if you're the same applicant that you were two years ago, that's not gonna cut it, okay? The, the application pool for PA school is just continuing to get even more and more competitive. So it is absolutely important that you also change with the times and make sure that your application is also getting more and more competitive. Because listen, you might have been an extremely great applicant in May, right? You graduated in May, you got all your hours and all that stuff. You might have been like a super bomb competitive applicant in May uh, of 2015. And then you took two years, you ain't really do much. You took maybe like one class, but you've been kind of working here and there. You can't really find the job that you want. And then you're trying to apply to PA school because you're like, yo, life has got to be better than this. I want to go to PA school. No, I'm afraid it don't work that way and you apply, your application might be like, wow, two years makes a difference. I, I, makes, two years makes a difference. A year makes a difference. A few months makes a difference. So again, like let's say you had taken a year and now you've gotten uh, maybe over 2,000, 3,000 healthcare experience hours. Your GPA is right. Everything else you got going for you um, and you choose rather than applying early and as soon as CASPA opens up in April, you choose to apply like in June um, for schools that have like September, October, November deadlines. Well, y'all, 
your application might have been extremely competitive in April and May when people were still graduating, still trying to get their stuff together. Um, you got in there early and you could have been a really competitive candidate. But now, as you're applying in June, while people have already taken their GRAs, they've gotten out of um, college, they've gotten out of their undergrad, their uh, all of their prerequisites information has now come into CASPA in the past two months, now you might be average or mediocre. And so you're doing yourself a disservice by waiting. Do not wait. Isn't there like some phrase like, don't put off for tomorrow what can be done today or something like that? Never put off till tomorrow what can be done today. Is that in the Bible? Is that in the word? I don't know. I think that sounds like it might be in the word, but I know that I've seen like phrases like that floating around um, the internet world somewhere. But it's true. Do not put off for tomorrow what you can do today. Because what you need to do today or what you should be doing today might just be like a hindrance later on with respect to you're not going to be as competitive of a candidate. So definitely don't wait. Instead of thinking about when's the best time, look at your life, look at your plan that you have for application and look and see, okay, when is my application going to be right? How long do I need to take to make sure that my GPA goes from a 3.1 to a 3.4, if that's what you want. If you want to be that kind of competitive, then what do I need to do? Do I need to take six classes? All right, how can I do this? I can take two in the summer, in the first summer session. I can take two in the second summer session. And then I can take maybe two in spring or two in the winter session and be ready for CASPA in April. Make sure that you have a plan. Stick to that plan. If it gets derailed a little, go ahead and see what, see what options. Make sure that you have other options. See what things can happen to make sure that you're still able to meet your goals even if there may be slight little hiccups on the road, but definitely keep going. Make sure, you, again, make sure you plan, 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 research, and don't wait, okay? As soon as that application is completed, when you go in and you look at Caspin, as soon as you see that you've checked off all the, bo the boxes or you've gone to the website of the school that you really wanna go to and you've met all of their requirements, prepare to apply. Okay, wait for CASPA. CASPA's going to open up at the end of April sometime. Once they open, go ahead, create your account, and apply. Pay your. That's another thing, y'all. Plan with respect to the money, okay? Make sure you have your money ready and available so that, again, when CASPA opens up, you can go ahead right then, put everything in, and apply like that day, those next two days, whatever it may need to be. But you want to apply as early as you can, and you want to apply extremely right at the moment that you have met all of those prerequisite requirements, okay? So that is it. That's kind of like my like big like soapbox moment. Like, come on, you guys. Make sure you apply immediately. The sooner, the better. Don't wait unless you have to, unless you know that that time is gonna allow you to become a better candidate um, than you were than you would have been had you applied when you were thinking of doing it. And then just bite the bullet and do it, y'all. Don't wait, okay? Do not wait. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. That was just my little tidbit of information with respect to the best time to apply for PA school. Do it now. If you got nothing else, do it now when you're ready um, with respect to you've met the requirements. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe and leave me a comment if you have any questions on this particular topic or something else. I'll be sure to get to it as soon as I possibly can. And follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.